The screen recorder is a tool that is built into your iPhone since the launch of the iPhone 8, the iPhone 10, and the iPad 5, or the fifth generation iPad. This means that every device since then would also have the screen recorder built into them, which means you might have had it on your phone for a couple of years now and just not known how to activate it. That's okay, I was the same way. I use the screen recorder on my iPhone literally all the time to get around downloading videos or if I'm using them for my own tutorials, such as this one. So today I want to show you not just how to screen record on your iPhone, but how to screen record with sound and use it for other features as well, whether it's your iPhone 10, your iPhone 8, iPhone 12, or your iPad. So let's get into it. The screen record feature is in your control center. If you haven't heard of the control center yet, that's okay. That's the area on your phone, whether you're swiping up or swiping from the top right corner on one of the newer models. Essentially, it holds a bunch of different quick access tools for you to use. And we can add and remove different tools and widgets from there, one of them being screen recording. So let's go into our settings right now. If we scroll down a bit, we can see just under general, it says control center. So let's tap there. Now, as you scroll down, you're gonna see a bunch of different tools and by all means, go ahead, add as many as you would like. I would add at least four because you're gonna have rows of four and just for like the aesthetic of it, I try to pick at least a few of them so that it looks better. As you can see, I have things like a calculator, low power mode, notes. Make sure to remember to add the screen recorder because that is the whole purpose of this video. Now that we have our tool selected, if we do our quick access to the control panel, you can see that there's a new row with more tools. Now you have access to screen recording right from here and whatever other tools that you added to it. So if we go ahead and we tap on that screen recorder right now, it should automatically start your screen recording with sound. Now, what I mean by sound is sound that comes through music apps or videos that you're watching. It should capture all of that in your phone. Now, feel free to go to whatever app that you were gonna be watching videos or content on or wanted to screen record. And if for whatever reason, the audio doesn't record this first time, what I used to have to do was either have a headset plugged in or just make sure that I activated the audio or hit the volume up button. When we're done recording, we can do one of two things. We can either slide down and go back to our screen recording and hit that same button, or we can just hit in the top of our screen where the red bar is, and we can hit stop. Now you can play that back and there should be recorded audio. And now let's take this a step further. There is actually a way to screen record with audio using your own microphone. If we go back and instead of just tapping on our screen record, if we press and hold, now we have some options. So as you can see, by default, our microphone is off. So all we have to do is tap to turn that on. Now you might also notice that there are other apps that you can use the screen recording with. That's for live streaming, whether you're on Google Hangouts or you're on Zoom. You can actually use this as a device to mirror into the meeting and everyone can watch your screen. Then you can just swipe out of it and start your recording. Now again, once we're done, tap the red button, hit stop recording. It should say screen recording video saved to photos. And we can just go to our photos folder and access them right there. Now another tip for you, if you don't want that screen recording at the very start of your video, just tap on that video. In the top right, hit edit. And then you can drag the arrows beside the play button here. And you can trim this video to whatever length you want it to be, whether it's just to cut off that beginning or if you just want one small segment. When we're done with that, hit done. And you can either save that video as a new clip if you wanna do a bunch of small clips from a longer video or save video just to overwrite the settings. From here, I typically just airdrop these files onto my Mac and I start editing with them. Now you know how to screen record with sound on your phone. I also have a video on how to screen record on your Mac if you wanna do it on your computer and use those recordings as well. So go ahead and check that video out if that's for you. If not, thanks for dropping by. Hope you learned a lot. Hope this was super helpful for you and I'll see you in the next video.